What happened to you, Howard? I thought he's got that body. I think he took steroids, my cousin. Did you take steroids? Did you really? No. No. He says he swears he never took them. Mm-hmm. Well, there's a vast difference between you and him. Jackie looked at him and said, hey, did Gilbert start working out? <laughs> That's my cousin, Jackie. He works out. That's why he's so big. Hey, want to buy one of my tapes? I gave him something. So, uh, a, a close cousin? Distant cousin? What are you? Are you my first or second or what? Well, his mom is, uh, his mom, Roberta, used to watch me when I was a little baby. That makes him a cousin? No, no, no. No, but, it, you know, so we're close cousins in that respect. I don't know where we fall out in the genetic, you know, in the genetic family tree. I see. I think that's a first cousin because that's my father's, my father's sister's daughter's son. What? My father's sister's daughter's son. So, you no, the father's sister's daughter's your first cousin. Yeah, so he's my what? He's a first cousin. First cousin once removed. No, he's a first cousin. No. No. First cousin once removed. First cousin once removed. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares anyway? There's no yeah. bloodlines there. Yeah, believe me. <laughs> what that really means is when he, he got out of college, he was looking for a job, he came, he came to me and said, hey, you know any openings? That, that entitles you to do that when your first cousin once removed. <laughs> he's out there looking at jobs, man. Really? Yeah, I'm, I, I get some, he's smart. Did he just get out of school? Uh, Yeah. And he's not stupid or anything. You got what? Do you got what degree? You got uh, management degree. He's got a management degree, which means like that's like almost like an MBA or something. BA. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, BA. BS. BS. <laughs> 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 but that's like something more than like communications. You know what I mean? At least or it, history. It sounds like you had to do some math and yeah. stuff. What is that like math? Yeah, math and you know garbage, whatever. Drink math it. and garbage. <laughs> math garbage. Is this what you say when you go into interviews? Oh yeah. <laughs> And he's got both hands, not like Bree Walker's... Uh, but she's son. working. She's That's got right. a job. <laughs> you laugh at her. I think he's qualified to do Tom's job more than Tom is. Tom, our general manager. What are Tom's qualifications? Yeah, where did Tom go? Yeah, who is it more qualified than Tom? Tom has zero qualifications. Think about it. Where did he go to school? I have never heard Tom talk about an education. You know, David, you're more qualified than our general manager? Uh... So I sent David into... Uh, he's thinking of a career in advertising, being like a media planner or something. Because uh... he's got that kind of background. So I sent him to talk to Ed Moyer, and Ed goes, I'll take him out and we'll drink. Oh, <laughs> I go, oh, great. Oh, no. Was Ed useful? Yeah, he was uh, really good. He was loaded. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At this time of the morning. Yeah. <laughs> Can he help you out? Um, he's going to get back to me. He's going to give me a call. Okay. You know, steroids make your voice crack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you never did him, right? Nope. Okay. The guy's built like the Hulk. <laughs> He was over my house swimming. Uh -huh. He took off. His, you know, he's in his suit, his bathing trunks. It was like it was like Lou Ferrigno. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the, the giant pecs, and yeah. the big breasts. And the, you know what I mean? A real the man. Washboard stomach, the whole thing. Huh? So we wrestled in the pool. The idea was to throw the other guy off the tube. Uh huh. I handled myself. I, I got him off the tube a couple of times. Really? He's as big and beefy as he is. Want to take off your clothes for Robin? <laughs> She's no, into it's that. not necessary. <laughs> You'll go over and make out with Robin? Not necessary, really, David. <laughs> My cousin's half drunk from breathing in Ed Moyer's fumes. <laughs> I could get him <laughs> he's, like, he's, he's a little dizzy right now. <laughs> yeah. I'm getting a little contact buzz. <laughs> all right, Nutrisystem is real good, and I'll tell you why. First of all, hey, well, listen, I'm not even going to go into why Nutrisystem is good. I've already explained that a million times. They've got a special offer right now. Right now, and it's for this day only, and if you don't, do it now. Tomorrow, if you get motivated suddenly, it's going to cost you a lot more. There is a 10-pound program. You pay for the 10-pound program, and all the rest of the weight you have to lose over 10 pounds, they do for free. And I think that's great. And this is a great offer, and I think you should call 1-800-321-THIN. I know you've been thinking about Nutrisystem. I think you're starting to believe me that it really works after five years of talking about it. But what you really have to do is pick up the phone and dial 1-800-321-THIN. 1-800-321-THIN. Today is the final day to pay for a 10-pound program and lose the rest for free at participating Nutrisystem centers. Certain restrictions do apply. Call 1-800-321-THIN. We better let Gilbert just sit here for a okay. while. Okay. Well, Gilbert is news. In a way, yeah. <laughs> I'd like to know what happened. <laughs> yeah, let Gilbert come in here. You know, because every once in a while on these uh, award shows, somebody actually says something that gets people all riled up, and Gilbert was the one this year. Hey, Gilbert. I was watching on the Emmys. That was yeah. weird. What was that whole thing with the band? Was that what they planned for you? What? What do you mean? 
he kept coming out and, you know, first he'd tell the band to shut up, then he'd tell them to play. That's Gilbert's thing. Whenever he walks out in front of an audience, first he, like, waves them to keep, oh, no, 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 don't give me so much applause, and then he, like, waves them to give them applause. But what were you doing with the band? Were you, like, telling them to stop? Uh, yeah, the band was, uh... I don't even remember that part of it. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah I mean, was, that was like that. that was the least uh, <laughs> Gilbert's, Gilbert's first, part of the show. Gilbert's credo is just to annoy, so he yeah. doesn't really remember who he was annoying at one point. He goes out there and annoys. Doesn't necessarily entertain just annoying. <laughs> I forgot about that annoying part. <laughs> so you like you weren't even conscious. You were pretty. Yeah. You get yeah. nervous still when you go out in front of like an industry thing like that? No, no. Because what bad thing could you do? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just starve for entertainment. Isn't it amazing that? All of these people in the industry partake in this celebration called the Emmys, and none of them can be funny, or none of them can have any fun. Yeah, no spontaneity whatsoever. We don't want. Uh, uh, we just want this to be a quiet event. Aside from Gilbert doing his cool thing, I'll tell you who I thought was good there. I thought Jerry Seinfeld was real funny. Why mm -hmm. do people watch TV? Why do people watch TV? And decidedly, men watch TV different than women. I now, mean, men are changing the channel every second. That's right. And you say, what are you watching? Why are men changing the channel every second? Women see a show, they say, I'm going to give this a chance. Right. I'm going to watch this. Why is that? Men switch the dial. Right. And then, when they go around a second time, they say, maybe I will watch this. <laughs> <laughs> How come when the picture's blurry, you want to make it clear? But didn't you think Jerry was funny? I mean, I thought he did pretty well. Yeah. You know, <laughs> uh, Gilbert can't comment on anything. Yeah. You first killed everybody else. <laughs> Why does Kathy Lee Gifford's husband wear Zan's belt? <laughs> I don't get it. And who is Al Sharpton? Did I mention that Andy, the program director in Los Angeles, is stupid? <laughs> Who's that standing on the corner with Lorenzo Lamas? Why, it's Mark and Brian. They're all <laughs> looking for a job. <laughs> Well, anyway. I'd like to talk about masturbation now. No, but I was asking, Gilbert, did they, Why did they write... do people talk about masturbation? Anything for you, uh, or no. did you have some prepared... <laughs> Gilbert was definitely unprepared, yeah. I can yeah. tell that. But, yeah, I had, yeah, I had ten writers. I said, he you came out. he came out, not only did he start doing that shtick with the band, yeah. then he's, he's there in front of the Emmys, and he starts doing Jerry Seinfeld, right. yeah. which nobody has tapped oh. into. <laughs> why doesn't Bree Walker cut off her arms? <laughs> If what? she has no hands, why not cut off her arms and make the look complete? If Bree Walker doesn't have hands, how is she able to hold a pencil? That's right. And why isn't Bree Walker knitting her kids some socks? Why does she stick a pencil in her ear when she writes a letter? Yeah. Who is this woman? Why does Pee Wee beat off? <laughs> if Pee Wee had hands like Bree Walker, he, he would, would stop beating off. That's right. <laughs> well, there's a point. There's a good point. It so would probably rip his penis right off. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, Gilbert, I mean, this is you... why crabs don't masturbate. That's Wait right. They <laughs> <laughs> would lose their genitals. Did he just go up there and start. <laughs> hey, my Ripping? cousin's over there. Hey, How come Bree Walker could not masturbate? David, you don't do that, do you? <laughs> that was a yes. That was a yes. For sure. yeah. was a yes. Yeah. Hey, you know, but he lives in an apartment. My cousin lives in an apartment in With Brooklyn. His mom and dad. His mom, his dad, his sister, his little brother. And what is it? A two bedroom? Three. Three. Every time I go over there, and his dad makes tons of money. But they're the saving. They're saving. They're saving for something. <laughs> but Gilbert could tell us about that. How yeah. do you do that when all those people are around? Your parents well, ought to get a house. You know that. <laughs> Me You're not kidding. <laughs> How do you beat off, man? You didn't you share a room with your brother? Ah, uh, not anymore. But you did. Yep. So what do you where do you do it? Shower. Shower. <laughs> <laughs> I do, I've done that there. I <laughs> he, has to, he has to go to like uh, Prospect Park to beat off. <laughs> Wait till everyone's out of the house. Yeah. What's your favorite fantasy? <laughs> Being alone in a room. <laughs> kick it down the drain. Oh, Get down there. I don't need any evidence. Oh. All right. Anyway. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> All right. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> So, Gilbert, yes. yeah. they didn't even ask you what you were going to talk about. Uh, no, no. I, uh, they, said, they said, go up and have fun. <laughs> Do they really? And what's more fun than jerking off? There you go. <laughs> so you got up there and you started just saying, because you know, when he came out and he said, hey, you know, if I was, um, 
you know, if I if I got arrested for every time oh, I masturbate, oh, if, if masturbation was is a crime, I should be on death row. Right. Yeah. Which was funny, and I it did was it. wonderful. And I said, eh, now he's going to move right into reading off the cue cards yeah. and announcing, you know, now no, 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 not guilty. <laughs> Herbert had to annoy. Even I got annoyed. <laughs> he got him going. And he yeah. said, hey, I this is working. <laughs> I would be Al Capone. <laughs> <laughs> I would be Al Capone if I did it that much. Yeah. yeah. When I jerk off, mm. who are these people who jerk off? So so it anyway. It was so funny when he got to the hand part. He goes, this hand is so strong it repels bullets. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, you know, it was funny. But evidently the... So what happened? Like, when you got off, did you get yelled at? No, no one did said anything to me. they throw you out me. of the building? No, I went to the party afterwards. Every, when I got back to New York, I found out it had been censored on the West Coast. Who was your co-presenter? I forget. Oh, I didn't have one. Yeah, he was out there by himself. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Hey, Ooh. Ooh, uh, why Ooh. does Gilbert get to be by himself? <laughs> How did Jamie Lee Curtis look up close? Uh, let's see, she was wearing a dumb dress. Why? You didn't think that oh, was wait, cute? Oh, wait, was she supposed yeah. to be naked? Yeah. I, yeah, I thought she should have been. <laughs> She's wearing a dumb dress. Yeah. yeah. Why do women have, why do women wear why dresses? Why do women wear clothes? Why can't they be nude? Is it to cover up their crotches? Everybody <laughs> wants to see them nude anyway. Why can't I see Jamie Lee Curtis's breasts? <laughs> <sighs> Isn't it ironic that Gilbert was by himself on the Emmys, and yet he was making fun of Pee Wee for being by himself? <laughs> no one will be my co-presenter. The, the best part about the Emmys is nobody remembers Sam Kennison from it. That's right. That's right. I, I'm remembered as the bad boy of the Emmys. Yeah, yeah. Sam actually behaved himself. Yeah. <laughs> Sam, Sam was on good behavior. <laughs> so there were no repercussions? Your agent wasn't uh, called? or What is it? Ah, uh, what? What does he want? <laughs> Gary, I have to interrupt this because Gary and John are on the hotline. Oh. This could be considered news. Okay. okay. Hello, is this Gary? Hey, boy. It's, it's me, boy. All right, Gary, what is it quickly? I'm in the middle of something. Guys, I just wanted to give you a Stutter and John update. Uh, when I got out of here yesterday, he had already um, interviewed James Brown, Sylvester Stallone, and Debbie Gibson. Yeah. And Brian Wilson, which is very funny. And we just got back from, uh, from tormenting uh, Mark and Brian. Oh. Yeah? You talk to him? You know, this guy's really all weird. <laughs> they, you know, they, they even show up to work together. But they, <laughs> Maybe they're living cars, together. It's separate cars, but they were right behind each other. Really? Yeah. It's like a tailgate point. Right, it's like a tailgate point. <laughs> <laughs> so How come we're getting echo like yeah, that? Yeah, what's that? And hey, what is that all about? Why are we getting hey, echo? How are you is it because you hear the voice a few seconds after you speak? <laughs> is that an echo? <laughs> Wait a second. Oh. What the... What is John saying? John, Something about it was a big cavity in my mouth. Yeah. Oh, it was. Oh, it's Gary's mouth. Yeah, that's pretty funny. Going. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait there. Listen to this, Gilbert. Gary tells us on his vacation. Yeah. He went to a nude beach, and uh, he says, you know, he, he didn't know whether to do it or not. So finally, he's making fun of all these guys. So he says, yeah. I'm going to try it. So he tells us he gets on the beach, and he rolls. He says, and hey, I'll roll over on the blanket so you can see my penis. <laughs> She says, but well, I didn't like a boss. After like 90 seconds, there was a fly on my uh, ass. <laughs> and, you know, so put, and we go, like, don't you wipe? <laughs> <laughs> the fly got sick. The fly was dizzy. So, anyway, so what do you say? You the fly commits suicide. So you guys went out there early in the morning. Yeah, we went out there. They, you know, they don't get in until 6.15. I don't know how you can do a show at 6 o'clock when you get in 15 minutes after it starts. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but this is a show they rehearse at 10 o'clock at night, right? Right, right. So they were up all night rehearsing. So John, so John got out there, and the first car pulled up, and he started asking the guy questions. The guy flipped out and rolled up his window. <laughs> but then the second guy had just pulled in right behind him. So then John asked him, and he flipped out, and then they both went in, but they're at a gate. You know, it's like a, you know, it's a big gate. Security gate, which keeps the people who are supposed to be inside the building out. Right. Yeah. You know, of course, they, one drives a BMW, the other drives a Corvette. Oh, that makes me sick. <laughs> Those guys actually have money for and that. And so they're not being driven behind one behind the other. They're driving one right. behind the other. You mean they follow each other in case they get lost? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so then John's standing at the gate, and they're about 50 feet away, and John starts yelling out, starts yelling out all the questions. Right. He's like, hey, which one of you guys is banging Paul out door? <laughs> and, uh, and they're just like totally flipping out. Oh, yeah, but do, do, do you have their... John, I'll tell you what happened. What's up there, man? Hey, man. So what happened? Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. How's it going, man? Hey, man. They started, uh, hey, how's it going, started hugging each other and stuff. They started hugging each other? Yeah, because I was asking him, you know, like, you know, who's the pitcher and who's the catcher. <laughs> <laughs> and they started hugging each other, so I started yelling at him, calling him pussies and stuff, you know? Oh, very good. So it sounds like an excellent interview. Oh, yeah. Well, I look forward to hearing all of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's... So you were ad-libbing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, John, very right, good. Man. Hey, you got to see the uh, Celeste stuff, man. The what? The uh, Stallone stuff. All right, well, I'm looking forward to it. All right, hold on. Gary wants to talk to you.
This is like a call from home. Yeah. Yeah, yeah right. I mean, what, both guys have to talk. You want to say it. hello to this dog? Yeah, go ahead, Gary. Uh, <laughs> I think I'd get a chance. You can write and fax us out some uh, Mel Gibson questions and some uh, Orsinio questions. All right, we will. Okay. All right, bye. bye. What that was all about, that echo. <laughs> I can only make a long story short. You know, I all right, it's all right. It's one thing that I'm having sex with a drug addict. I'm not using contraception. But, you know, the fact I think now she's a bad mother because she's a drug addict. <laughs> I mean, I just think it's wrong. She uses drugs. She took my kid. I just think it's... That's one thing. All right, if I want to live with a drug addict and have sex with her, that's a bam, That's one thing. <laughs> but to actually, to actually have her take my kid away from me. <laughs> okay, sure. I don't use a condom when I'm having sex with a drug addict. <laughs> you know, why should I? <laughs> but so, and it's one thing if she wants to have a kid because I figure, well, she's a drug addict, she'll have a healthy kid. <laughs> you know, but, you know, all right. And all those good drugs. Yes, yeah, she uses heroin, but mm. she still takes vitamin C. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I mean... It did get kind of confusing in here, didn't it? <laughs> 9.30 now, we're going to break the spot. When we come back, Gilbert, you'll help us with the news. And the way you can best help is by you know, letting them get through it. Yeah, right. <laughs> we'll talk to my cousin, David. I'll ad lib. <laughs> David, you find a job yet while you're here? Uh, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> He's back there looking for a job. What did you think of the masturbation routine on the Emmys? <laughs> did you see the Emmys? No, I didn't catch it. Did you get a... Did, <laughs> hey, uh, he didn't Gilbert, catch it. Gilbert, <laughs> have you heard from Pee Wee Herman? No. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure he supports you I now. heard, uh, although Kay Gardella said in the news, she said it was the most tasteless thing she ever saw on an award show. <laughs> <laughs> but she said my show is the most tasteless thing she ever saw. But not on an award show. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> Gilbert has a special distinction. Yeah, I guess that's going to ruin your career pretty yeah, much. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know how many careers she's ruined? <laughs> <laughs> I guess one beside her own. The, the best thing I was on, like I think uh, I was on a talk. I was on Nine Broadcast Plaza, and she called in. Oh, really? They called her. Okay. Yeah. Boo, Gilbert. And Richard Bay said, "Well, how do you think uh, the way of uh, the way Gilbert's handling this whole thing?" And Kay Gardella said, "Straight face." She goes, "I think he's milking it." <laughs> <laughs> uh, but this is good. I mean, you know, yeah. this got you a lot of attention. Oh yeah. You know, they should go on more shows and be more outrageous. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh, forget it. He'll never be asked to another award. <laughs> yeah, right. All right. Uh, we'll be back right after these words. K Rock is WXRK New York. Keep listening for more 20 song music marathons. We play 20 songs or someone wins $20,000. That's K Rock. Howard Stern all morning. Classic rock and roll all day. All right. This is Gilbert's fantasy, I think, the Y Rank community. Yes. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> I thought it would be Club Getaway. No. <laughs> no, I don't think Club I can Getaway. Get away and jerk off. Hey, would you take it easy? I'm sorry. This is not going to air on the West Coast because of you. <laughs> All right, listen. Y Rent community. Sick of high crime rates, high taxes, high rent. My cousin could use this. He needs a house of his own. Sure. Y Rent in uh, Brooklyn, wherever you are. Yeah. Do you think you can afford your own home? Well, you can. And I'm not talking about moving to the Poconos, like, part-time for the summer or something. I'm talking about living there. Why would you poke someone in the nose? If you have $3,950... If you have $3,950 to put down, you can afford 543 a month. You've got your own home in the Poconos, a three-bedroom, 1,200-square-foot ranch in the heart of the beautiful Poconos. And there are no extra closing costs. And you can change your entire lifestyle. You get out of the rat race. Get out of the shower. That's right, David. <laughs> Still be close to the metropolitan area. It's one and a half hours to New York and closer to anywhere in New Jersey. Job opportunities are fantastic because of the growth in the area. You're still close to Jersey. See, a lot of people move down to Florida because they can get housing cheap, great uh -huh. housing, but then you can't find work. Damn. In Jersey, you can get the work. You can be close to Manhattan. You, and even in the Poconos, it's a great growth area. Listen, do me a favor. There's great school systems. you got to go see this. 3950 down and 543 a month. And your fantasy can come true. <laughs> Mine no. does every night. <laughs> yes. The y Rent community. Set up an appointment. Go see it this weekend. 1-800. Go see it this weekend. Okay. 1-800-USA-1234. 1-800-USA-1234. That's 1-800-USA-1234. <laughs> Gilbert Gottfried here. You plug in anything? Oh, why not? What do you got? Let me see. Oh, he's oh, actually got them written down. Yeah, this see, this time I wrote Very it down. Very professional. But usually I forget the names. No, let me see that. Okay. I'll do it for you.
September 13th at Giggles in Edison, New Jersey. Gee, you know, your career's really Giggles. changed since yeah. you won the Emmys. Uh, back to the Turnpike Tour. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you see, that's what happens when you're controversial on the Emmys. All of a sudden, things just break for yeah. you. You know, Gilbert used to play all the big rooms. Mm. I, I could never get Edison before. <laughs> Toppers, <laughs> Toppers in Brooklyn on September 14th. Huh? <laughs> September 26th is the Treehouse in Westport, Connecticut. September 27th and 28th, it's the Treehouse in Danbury, Connecticut. What's this? No Poor Billies? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no Poor Billies Sports Cafe? Gee, I thought things were going well for yeah. you. And on the 18th and 25th, I'm on Night Court. I see. Are yeah. you? I am, yeah. They listen to the show in Los Angeles now. They contacted us. They dig us. They dig us. The guys, Night Court? The guys who write Night Court. Really? They dig us. You have to keep me up to date on the correspondence. I didn't tell you that? No. No, they didn't. Well, they contacted us because they heard me playing Gil Scott Heron, Whitey on the Moon. And wanted I didn't to know, hear about that. And they wanted to get him on the show. Yeah, but I don't think that was on the air. And then they said something about maybe writing me into an episode of Night Court, but... You know, Gilbert's doing it on the show. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? can't do what well, Gilbert does. No. Well, I, I'm playing a How It's Darn type. Yeah, a DJ. <laughs> Gilbert gets all your gigs. <laughs> Gilbert gets all the jobs that the uh, Howard Stern types. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, go you see Gilbert. You so much alike. <laughs> and we're doing some news, and my cousin David is here, who uh, is a bodybuilder. But he's also like a... Yeah, he's building it every night. <laughs> yes. He builds it in the shower. I bet you when you get naked for chicks, they go wild, huh? Uh... Yeah? And Jackie, push that microphone over by my cousin, will you? Instead of by you. What do you think, Robin? You think he's pretty well built? Yeah, he's very well built. Yeah. He's in the uh, he's in the gym, like... How many times a day you go to the gym? <laughs> Once a day. Once a day. But he's here, like, a couple hours a day. And no steroids. Nope. You do pulling exercises. Pulling. Oh, good. <laughs> in the shower? <laughs> <laughs> he had no privacy growing up, my cousin. Mm. That's what you got to do. You got to get a job and move out to your own place. I bet he's dying for his own place. Have you ever lived alone? Because in college, you probably had a roommate. I had my own room, though. You did? Yeah. Oh, that must have been like freedom. <laughs> he loved school. And hey, you know what his brother's name is? My other cousin? Howard. Which is so ridiculous. Didn't they know you were in the family? Yeah, I mean, it's like <laughs> they named... Your mom named your brother Howard. I'm Howard. It's not like we don't see each other. I hold it against her, you know. Do you really? Oh, all the time. What do you say? I don't know, I just yell at her and kind of scream a lot. And, um, <laughs> Anything specific in there, David? <laughs> yeah, I hit her once in a while. But, no, no do you think it was kind of weird naming, me, naming the kid Howard? It's like there was one Howard. Are, are we running out of names? Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah. what is all the what? names? <laughs> what, do, is there only three names in the world? <laughs> I'm going to name him Howard. This way. I mean, the only worst name is Gilbert yeah. and Howard. I mean, you know. <laughs> We were just discussing that, Gilbert. Why didn't you ever, like, drop that? Gilbert, when your mother names you Gilbert, it's a self-fulfilling prophecy. <laughs> you become Gilbert. You become a Gilbert. Gilbert is a Gilbert. That's the way around it. He is Gilbert. He is Gilbert. That's why he goes on the uh, Emmys and ruins everything. Yes, sir. Ruins it for Kay Gardella. How come yes. you're not a Gil? Yeah, oh, or Gilliam. Like Gil. <laughs> like, what's that guy, Gil? The guy who... Scott was, Heron. No. no, the guy who was married to... Veronica Hamill. Gil Gerard. Gil Gerard. Yes, yes. See, he's, oh, his name right. is yes. Gilbert, but he he chopped that off. He said, I'm Gil. Gil. He's Gil. <laughs> he's Gil. All right, anyway, Robin, what else is in the news? Well, Howard, yesterday I told you, you know, we were sitting on the air and there was that hostage situation going on at the Milford Plaza. Well, it turns out that this 14-year-old girl who was, I Single? Guess, Hang <laughs> Hanging out uh, in the Times Square area yesterday morning was abducted by two men, taken back to the hotel. Now, why didn't anybody there see this? Well, they were asking, the news reporters were asking the cops, was she a prostitute? Well, they said they, she probably made some arrangement to be with them. I see. But, uh, you know, now all of a sudden it's an abduction because a 14-year-old can't give consent. Right. So even though she looked like she was walking under her own... Uh... That's an important lesson for Gilbert and other people <laughs> in our audience to hear. That a 14-year-old girl cannot give consent, even under though she says yes. Oh, power. damn. Yes. <laughs> Gilbert, you should know that. Ah, damn it. Now I tell <laughs> Jeez. So anyway, apparently there was another guy in the room when they got there. Maybe that wasn't in the deal. But then why isn't someone like Piscopo arrested for, for abduction? <laughs> you know, because I'm a Jersey guy. You know, I'll tell you something, Howard. I'm just like a guy from Jersey. I mean, to meet these guys like Frank. I mean, to actually have someone like Frank come over to you. And I mean, it's just great. Just great. I mean, I, I don't know. I feel like really goofy when I meet like a big star. Like Bruce Springsteen. He's Bruce. Hey, Emily. <laughs> 
<laughs> yes. So anyway, these guys uh, took the girl <laughs> to their room and uh, did uh, unspeakable acts. Right. Yeah, all night, all night long, apparently. And at some point, I guess she did feel like she was being held there against her will. When you say unspeakable act, are you referring to a sex act that doesn't produce babies? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you could say that. I yeah. see. <laughs> I was going to have sex with her, too, but I didn't see any track marks on her arms, so that turns me off. Right. If a girl doesn't use heroin, I am not going to have sex with her. All right. Thank you. Thank you, David Brown. And I certainly won't have a kid with her. All right. So anyway, at some point in the morning, she was able to slip away, and she alerted the police, and right. then uh, they were able to get in there, and they arrested three guys. And I noticed that one of these guys um, was a convicted murderer who walked <laughs> away from a Maryland pre-release program on Tuesday afternoon, just hours before wow. this attack. That's what I say. Keep giving murderers second chances. Weird stuff. <laughs> Weird, mm. funny stuff. Oh, that wild, that wild. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <Un -pleasant. Hey> -oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Johnny, calm down. Oh, and hey, maybe with Gilbert here later, we should read the Ed McMahon story. Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, I mean, Gilbert might want to comment. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Well, Dottie West lost that uh, big battle she was having. Somehow I thought someone, they were up to 175 <laughs> pints of blood, and they, you know, they, were, they were asking people to donate quickly. I thought that maybe we'd lose her. Well, they were in the middle of another operation trying to stem the blooding, blooding the bleeding, and yeah. <laughs> she, she they didn't make it. <laughs> 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 they were trying to stem the blooding. But they didn't do it. They were trying to stem the blooding. So, and uh, the worst th thing about this story is her car had broken down. Right. And this guy actually stopped to give her a lift. Wow. On the side oh. Of the road. <laughs> oh, you're kidding. <laughs> yes. Isn't that awful? Because things were real bad. She was like bankrupt. Yeah, so, she had mounted this big comeback tour, so yeah. she could. So that's the ultimate in good news and yeah. bad news. Right. Yeah. Good news is you got to left. The bad news is it'll kill you. Right. <laughs> but I want to tell you. So anyway. <clears throat> You know, when, a, when a guy, when three guys are raping a 14-year-old, huh, is that wild? Huh, huh, huh. Hey -oh. anyway, Dottie West, dead at the age of 58. Also, well, Robin, at least we have her music. We do? Yeah. A few words from Kenny Rogers, a guy she did a couple of duets with. What did he have to say about oh. Dottie at news of her passing? You picked a fine time to leave us, Dottie. Mwah, mwah, mwah. I think that Dottie West as much or more than anyone I ever met. <laughs> the thing about pain, she felt that pain. And oh, she sure did. About love, I mean, she could be in love for that moment. Hey, look at the bright side. She's not in debt anymore. Yeah, but she felt that pain. Yeah, 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 yeah. And also <laughs> dead, Howard, at the <laughs> age of 65, actor, author, Thomas Tryon. I didn't like his stuff anymore. No, neither did I. I never even heard of him. Who? Thomas who? Tryon. Never heard the of him. The guy who wrote The Other and Harvest Home. I don't like those books. He's also in the movie The Cardinal and I Married the Monster from Out of Space. Here's a guy who's managed to... Av I've managed to avoid everything he's ever done in his career. You never saw I Married the Monster from Out of Space? No, I, I did not. I that movie. Oh, I can't go on, Robin. We'll have to end the show right now. <laughs> All right, we'll be back. Is that what's happening, Robin? That's what's happening right. for now. Cousin David is here. Yeah. We'll talk to him about job hunting. <laughs> Gilbert's here. Gilbert Gottfried, the uh, sensation on the Emmys who caused such a ruckus <laughs> yeah. that uh, things got completely out of hand and poor Gilbert was not seen on the West People Coast. People are still talking. He wasn't seen at all or they censored you? No, it wasn't yes, seen it at was, all. It was censored on the West Coast. No, it he was seen. seen. Yeah, it wasn't yes, seen. Oh, well, really? no, it was censored. My, that part about masturbation was censored. Oh, my goodness. They even cut out the Jerry Seinfeld invitation. Really? really? No. <laughs> that wasn't that good. That's why they cut that out. <laughs> Isn't that an insult? They were saving you. Who are these people? Who are these people who watch television? <laughs> oh. Why do they have antennas? By the way, that was my idea. I called Fox. Yes. I said <laughs> Did you cut out the Jerry Seinfeld impression? <laughs> yeah. All right, we'll be back right after this with Gilbert Gottfried and Cousin David. <laughs> the Classic Rock Station. Okay. Uh, good stuff. Oh, good stuff. Oh, very clever. <laughs> Low Jack. Oh, that, that masturbation routine, very, very clever. Yes, oh. Johnny, thank you. Oh, we'll have to have him back. Johnny didn't call ever? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I heard he did a joke about me in his act. I don't yeah. know what it was. Someone said he mentioned me. Really? Yeah. All right. Oh, thank you. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I, I, I wonder if he jerks off. Oh. <laughs> oh. Whoa. Hey, -o. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see Ed's happening aviator glasses in People Magazine? Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's got the special power look. Now he's got the look. Yeah. And hey, let me tell you about Lojack. i got to just do this real quick, Robin, because you already know about Lojack. I don't need to explain it to you, but to the rest of the people in the audience. And Gilbert doesn't drive, don't explain no. it. No. Gilbert's too cheap to buy a car. 
New Jersey. I, I, I can't. I can't use my hands on the steering wheel either, so that's a problem. <laughs> New Jersey drivers, are you ready for some good news? Sure. Effective this week, the new auto insurance discount program introduced by the New Jersey Commissioner of Insurance will be implemented statewide in New Jersey. What does this mean to you? It means if you get the low jack system, you know what the low jack system is. This is not a car alarm. This is a tracking device. The police in New Jersey, uh, 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 they, they keep the low jack device in their cars. When your car, you're playing with your low jack. When, oh. when the car gets stolen. The police turn it on, they can track it right down. That's why you get a break on your insurance. Listen to this break that you get. This is the big news. If you own a car in New Jersey, you have the low jack, the stolen vehicle recovery system, you can now save up to 25% on your comprehensive auto insurance every year. How's that? The basic low jack system will save you 20% off your comprehensive insurance. And if you purchase the complete low jack system, including low jack and low jack alert, a remote alarm system, you'll save up to 25% on your comprehensive. That's why you must dial right now 1 800. 95 low jack 1-800-95 l-o-j-a-c-k 1-800-95 l-o-j-a-c-k it really works if you love your car all right i got you fred <laughs> by the way gilbert oh, yeah. uh, gottfried is here uh, september 13th at giggles in edison new jersey september 14th toppers in brooklyn september 26th the treehouse in westport connecticut september 27th and 28th treehouse in danbury connecticut what's frank salone doing on the phone uh, he just wants to say hello. I guess he's been listening to us out in Los Angeles. Uh, Frank? Howard. Dude? How are you? Good, how are you? Howard, I just wanted to call and tell you, you know, since they put you out here in uh, California, I feel like part of the family since I've been doing your show for eight years. Yes. And I gotta tell you, more people are coming up to me saying, oh, we saw you on the Christmas show and all this stuff. Right. Now that bowling shirt you gave me from the Christmas show, like everyone's trying to rip it off my back it's when highly, I wear it. It's highly valued. Highly valued, but I just want to say I'm real proud of you, you know, Gary, Rob, and Freddie, you know, everyone. Well, you don't have to be fr uh, proud of Gary and Fred. Hey, Jack, oh, tell Jackie I did get all his joke package, and I appreciate it. Oh, he it. sent it to you, too. You know what Jackie does? It's really weird. Whenever I have a guest on the show, Jackie sends, starts, like, trying to network with them and mail them Oh, it was a stuff. care package. It was right. huge. Howard. It's really weird. Howard. I couldn't lift it up the steps, Howard. It was right. Different. That's how I met you. Yeah. So what are you saying? So you're still yeah. trying to get a job with yeah, other right. people, is what you're saying. But I got to tell you, Howard, you know California, of course, gets everything. They get it about ten years later than everyone else. California's the wild plant. Oh, by the way, David Brenner's here. Is he? Yeah. yeah. Hi, how you doing? Is this Good Frank? Is Gilbert? Or Good David? Hi, <laughs> 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 right. hey, Nice impression. <laughs> <laughs> Real good impression, Gilbert. You know, I'll never live that show down with my mother, though. I mean, I'm still getting killed by that. Yeah, that was a good one. Yeah, my brother won't talk to me anymore. You're kidding. Evidently, um, Stuttering John today got an interview with uh, Sylvester Stallone. Yeah. Your brother. Ooh, well, you know, I talked, to, I talked to Sly about the show. You know, of course, he doesn't get things till ten years later, either. So. Right. <laughs> yeah, and he, uh, see that's the thing. Frank said, is Frank is the one who really should be enjoying all of this success, not Sylvester. <laughs> and well, I gotta a, tell you something that happened funny, Howard. You Frank is a better it. actor than Sylvester. It's true. Watch Barfly. Tell me if you agree. Sly, uh, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and Frank tells me that all the time. Howard, you're not gonna believe this. <laughs> yeah. There's a big movie coming up, right? That my brother's going to do, and there's a one of the co-stars is of his brother. My you. agent called up the agent that's doing the movie. You know what the girl said? What? Well, I don't know if Frank's right for the part. Right, right, I great. Say, well, that's what I call brilliant casting. Yeah, well, that's real good. Yeah, that's great. Well, hey, listen, man. So you secretly hate your brother, and no, what are you going to do? I love my brother. Yeah, you, you have to love him, but. But I got to tell you, I. What did you, you resent? Hey, Gilbert, let yeah. me ask you something, because yeah. you're in show business. Gilbert, are you an only yeah. child? Uh, yeah, no, I come from a family of 13 brothers and sisters. <laughs> so are you an only child? No. You have, you have sisters? Yeah, yeah. I have two little sisters. Wow, I, oh, I didn't know, know that. that. Yes, uh, Meryl Streep. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, you're really uh, sharing a lot with us this morning, uh, yes, Gilbert. And, and really Sigourney Weaver. Gil you know, Gilbert <laughs> is even like thinking, do I admit that I have two sisters or not? Uh, he's really... Do, do I admit I have a middle like a, name? Like the we wheels are turning. Uh, yes, exactly. Yeah. You know I what think, it is? Yeah. With his newfound success, he's on a roll since yeah. he made it such a stink at the Emmys. Maybe I'll be honest about everything. <laughs> yeah. Hey, that'll Gilbert be a new approach. great on your show with, with that guy that, that was that rear gunner. Oh. Hey, buddy, oh. you a rare gunner. Oh, oh He's I talking know about. Oh, that was great. Hey, buddy, you pal, a rare gunner. The guy from the funny gay males. Oh, that was funny. <laughs> and uh, Gilbert came on as Dice Clay. Oh, and, yeah. that was. Yeah, that, that was, was a good great, show. Man. That was a good show. But, you know, the thing is, this show, your show is out here now. I mean, I'm telling you, people are coming up to me and go, hey, dude, have you heard about like Howard Stern? Yeah, well, that's the thing, but now we got to just get him to admit it to the ratings, and then we're on a roll, and then we'll yeah. be able to stay out there. If we're not, we'll be canceled. That's well, all. Howard, you know, these people out here eat too many sprouts. That's the right. problem. Yeah. Right, I understand. 
But you guys are doing wonderful. And I got to tell you something. You know, it's like I feel part of the family. I mean, it's been a long. Everyone's always. Where are you living home. out there? Are you with Sylvester? No, I'm just sitting there uh, having a cup of coffee. But you got your own place. You're not staying at Sylvester's. No, I live by myself. Hey, who's that little piece of ass he's got? Jennifer Flavin. Yeah, she's a nice looking girl. Nice can, girl. Can you get her? Howard. <laughs> you remember Jennifer Flavin. Do you remember what happened with my mother Mrs. on the TV Flavin. show? Yeah. It's taken me like that long to kind of get back in good graces. So oh, you really? don't want to mess anything up. <laughs> I was ostracized by my family, especially because of Jack Rappaport and like his bad caps. You know? Hey, yeah, and it was Frank's idea. He says, "Hey, I'll bring my mom on with me." <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good idea. Frank was, didn't want it, to come along. And his mom comes on with the headband, and then we put antenna in her headband. Oh, <laughs> <God>. <laughs> it was really good. Howard has set me back. 20 years with my family. I mean, it was like... You know why Frank's going? Because he wants to get laid today. So now he'll uh, walk through the streets. Everyone will have heard him on the air. <laughs> yeah, right. But I got to tell you, Howard, it's, it's unbelievable. I mean... Hey, who are you sleeping with these days? You get anybody good? Can. You've given up Sally Kellerman? Or what? Oh, no, Sally, Sally Kirkland. Sally, Sally Kirkland. Kellerman? You still doing her? <laughs> no. Because Gilbert wants her. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Gilbert, babe. So she's available? Gilbert? Yes? She's yours. Oh. You still with Sally Kirkland? No, nah, Sally's a nice girl. No, I was not with Sally. Sally, that was... Uh... I bet you she knows how to throw it around real good. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you. She's wild. So are you going to be doing the, is the TV show or are you going to be doing a new show? Yeah, we just got picked up for another year. Well, Unfortunately. You know, you remember all the agents that used to tell me, listen, things are going good for you, Frank. Don't do Howard. And I say, yeah, right. Yeah. I did that for what, like six months or a year? and then I Yeah, for a while, Frank had an agent that said, don't go on Howard's show anymore because it's bad for your image. Ah. What image is that, Frank? <laughs> <laughs> it's any image I can get. Yeah. So anyway, What's funny finally Frank that? snapped too and said, wait a second. I used to have fun with those guys. Yeah. I don't understand what is going on here. And people ask me all the time to go, what's Howard? What's Robin? What's Jackie? Freddie? Gary? Like, I said, let me tell yeah, you. Yeah, what Frank. is Freddie like? Could you tell us? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what, is, what are you like, Freddie? But anyway, <laughs> we just, uh, it's just. I, I had an agent say to me, why don't you weigh this out before you talk to the press? Right, right, right. right. <laughs> Did he actually say that? Yeah. yeah before you comment on your Emmys situation. Yeah, you know, maybe we should weigh this out. Yeah, Fox we have a strategy. Fox is a strong yes. network. Maybe we should plan it out. Wait, Fox is a strong network? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, what are ABC, CBS, and NBC? Yeah. This now, wait until the story's cold and no one wants to talk yeah, about it anymore. stronger you know than WPIX. About, what? Out of, all, you know, out of all the stuff I've done, I promise you, and I, 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 I mean this sincerely, at least within the last month, five people come up to me and they say, even more, say, oh, we saw you on the Christmas show, blah, 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 blah. Well, you bowled against Jessica Hahn and, and you did a great job. That was good. Yeah, even though I did uh, throw a gutter ball, I couldn't believe that. <laughs> I never threw a gutter ball in my life. Well, listen, I want you to go back. Hey, did you ever uh, boff Jessica, by the way? Did you ever get her after the show? Howard, I was, she was trying to kill me. What are you talking about? No, nah, you were putting the Well, that Robin right. set me up on that. You, know <laughs> you, think that. He, you think he got Jessica after the show? I don't think. If he had tried, I'm sure he could have. Uh, yeah, I think you could have got her. Well, I think her show's like real spontaneous, you know? <laughs> <laughs> there you go again. No, there no, you no. Go. Go. no it was just it's amazing how they just find girls sitting in a restaurant. Right. Yeah. 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 Parked on by the, the window. Parked on the beach with a Corvette in the sand. I mean, you see that all the time. It's amazing yeah. how the girls line up, too, yeah. when they're walking down on the beach. Well, know? Frank, listen. <laughs> Continued success. <laughs> what are you Thank doing you. now? Yeah, what are you working on? You? I understand you're in a movie with Jessica Morton Downey. <laughs> so what I'm trying to do is, uh, try. I'm trying to convince people that I am my brother's brother. Oh, right. you want to do that role? Well, I hope you well, get this it. Is a, this is a big movie, but the thing was, it's incredible. Is Howard. this the one like, where he's working with Estelle Getty? Hey, don't you? Yeah, right. I saw that on they're Entertainment doing Tonight. They're the Howard Stern Stern story, and you called up to go. Well, I don't know if you're right for the part, Howard. You know, I mean, it's something like that, but that's okay. Hey, but listen, here's the deal. Yeah. It looks like your brother isn't doing all that well anymore. And that it's your is time. and now it's your time. And now all of a sudden you're gonna have to sit there and like, you know, sit and listen to how great he's doing. He's probably not letting you in the movie. You could be I like, bet you want to be, wait a second. Robin, you just hit on something. I didn't want to say it. I don't think so. Frank, I am gonna tell you something right now, and I swear to God I believe this is true. And this, you know, forget that we're on the radio and forget everything else. I guarantee you your brother is keeping you out of that movie. You think so? Yes, because if your brother wanted you in that movie, he'd put you in. What if he put gives Gilbert the part? It's sort of like Bon Jovi when he says, Oh, I can't come on your show. The record company won't let me. Don't tell me that your brother doesn't have enough clout in Hollywood to get you a part in the movie, to play your brother, or at least an audition. John Bon Jovi got weak on the phone? He he's wouldn't a, come on? He's a pussy. Oh, man. You know what a pussy is? Oh, never mind. I'm asking the wrong guy. <laughs> but listen, I, I, I Gilbert, don't. you know what a pussy is? <laughs> All right, because he's a real pussy. Now, listen. <laughs> now, let me tell you something, man. I, I'm telling you, if we hooked your brother up to a lie detector... I guarantee you he is keeping you out of that movie. I really guarantee you. So. Yep. 
And so don't uh, sit there and blame the movie. Com- yeah, right. Uh, Ooh. Ooh. Hey, Gilbert, why don't you submit yourself for the part? Uh, no, I only Frank. submit myself for starring parts. Robin is correct. <laughs> Robin is 100% correct. I have a feeling. Hey, listen, where did I hear that tape? Is that on the FCC, the one you gave me? Is that the one with uh, Richard Simmons? Yeah. That is the funniest. Thank you, my friend. As a matter of fact, you know what? Uh, There's an endorsement, another endorsement. You know what Frank is talking about? No, I listen Thank to him my all the friend. Time. He's <laughs> talking to crucified by the FCC, one eight hundred fifty two Stern. If you want to get some funny tapes, man, we still have them on sale. Matter of fact, you know who listened to it? Remember, he used to like pick on him all the time, and he, thought, and he had to admit it was great. Who? Your friend Al Bandero. Oh, that idiot! But I said, I said you got to listen to this. He was out here, you know, on the station in New York. And he said, it is funny. I said, what do you mean? Of course it's funny. Yeah, well, now he's not such an idiot anymore, see? He's yeah. smart. <laughs> All right, Frank, I got to go. Howard, take care. God bless everybody. And it was so nice, and I'm so happy for your success. And, and I really mean Thank that. you. And it's your brother keeping you out of the movie. <laughs> well, I hope not. <laughs> yeah, think about it. Take care, guys. All right, man. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Frank Stallone, yes. all the stars calling in. The star of Pink Chiquitas. <laughs> so, yeah. We've shown that on USA Up All Night. Hey, let's hope that yeah. he doesn't shoot himself in the hand again. Yes. <laughs> Remember that? <laughs> you know, there was a period of time there where he was just losing limbs. like. Yeah, right. <laughs> he looked like Bree Walker for a while. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me say what fun it is to have Gilbert Gottfried here. The big star of the <laughs> managed to get himself completely edited out on the West Coast. And let me see how exciting it is that my cousin David, who was job hunting. Well, it's just an exciting day. The shower man. <laughs> my mom was over at my aunt's house, and they were talking about David looking for a job. Mm-hmm. And um, what happened was, Gilbert probably can relate to this, and you okay. too, Robin, of course, because, you know, people are always looking for favors and stuff. So my mother, of course, David wasn't even looking for a favor. <laughs> my mother goes, you know, how would... Knows a lot of people, David. <laughs> Howard was a media planner at Benton and Bowles. For a day. Yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> How many connections could And you would be a great media planner because you have a management background. Howard was not suited for it. <laughs> and I went out and brought Howard suits for his job at Benton and Bowles. And I told Howard to leave. I mean, and she's so proud of this yeah, story. Like, yeah. she has something to do with it. You already have suits, David. You're qualified. <laughs> yes, you have a pretty suit. <laughs> what happened? My mom talked to you into calling me? Um, no, you called me first. Did she bang on no, the bathroom that's what I mean. door first? Well, oh, I know what happened. My mom said I told David that I would, if oh, he would call. Oh, so she put you up to it. Is that what happened? Yeah, basically. I was fine at home, just hanging out. Yeah, actually, I think, I think I'm putting pressure on him to get a job. Oh, really? No, she yeah. had to use the shower. That's why she made you get a job. I can tell your mom's desperate for you to get a job, though, because I, I called David the other night. I was speaking to his mother, my cousin. Uh-huh. And uh, she just, I just said, you know, I'm, I'm here looking for jobs for David. And she goes, God bless you. <laughs> oh, no, it's gotten to that point. Yeah, God bless you. <laughs> You're a good guy. I can't come out, Mom. I'm still washing. <laughs> I'm still in the shower, Mom. Yeah. I can't talk to Cousin Howard right now. Wait, wait, wait. I'm cleaning myself. <laughs> hold it. Hold oh, it. Oh, 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 hold oh. it. I'm in the shower. Hold it. Oh, 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 oh Derek, go oh, Derek, go oh, Derek, go oh, Derek, go oh, Derek. Oh, 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 I'm so much cleaner now. I'm so much cleaner. Oh, oh. All right, I can talk now. Yeah. <sighs> His mother thinks he's a clean freak, yeah. you know, taking five showers. How a many day. showers are you taking a day, David? <laughs> How many showers are you taking a day? About three or four. Mom, well, can you slip a cigarette under the door? <laughs> The drain is probably clogged. Like, <laughs> what is <in> there? <laughs> the plumber just put his hand in there, and he says he won't ever come back. And a finger is missing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we better get the snake for this one. Yeah, the big snake, the big roto snake. The snake, the snake, the snake. <sighs> oh, man. <laughs> so I don't know. Somehow, you know, I got involved. But he'd be a good candidate for some job like that because he's management. What do you mean management background? What kind of courses did you take? Uh, organizational behavior. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what we need. <laughs> yeah. Hey, why don't you teach our general manager? I wish you could teach Gary that. Could he? Why don't we hire him and get rid of Gary? And maybe I'll make him my producer. Would you like that? Sure. Hey, organizational procedure. Yeah, he What do you mean by something. that? Behavior, behavior. Sure does what does that mean, organizational shower? behavior? You learn different techniques of uh, management people. <laughs> And Gilbert, shut up. No, it's my cousin. He, I think he knows all the techniques already. <laughs> no, that's showering technique. Now, we're on another topic now, Gilbert. Yeah, Gilbert, like you're not in the shower every five seconds. <laughs> Gilbert. Well, it is Gilbert's favorite subject. Oh, 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 oh. Ah. 
<laughs> now, um, David. Yeah. What do you mean organizational behavior? Well, they teach you about different um, management techniques. Like? Like, uh... This is good, because this is how we have to deal with Tom. Like, if we can learn the techniques right. that Tom knows, yeah, then, then we, we can, can deal with around. him. Because maybe Tom isn't an idiot. Maybe they teach you to be an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. I don't remember the specifics, but... Oh, <laughs> how are we going to get you a job? No, but I mean, like, what do you mean organizational... Behavior. Behavior. How, how, um, how organizations like, behave? Right, how to act in the... In no, the he's talking about managing people, you know. Right. You learn different techniques about them. Um, like, if a guy comes in and asks for a raise, what do you say to him? Right, no I raise mine every night. <laughs> 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 ah, I don't know, it's like psychology. I had one drop based. left. <laughs> it's psychology. Yeah. yeah. So he didn't so want like to tell if, us because it's a secret. He had to pay all that. All the time, let's say. What do you do with him? Yeah. Um, Let me ask you something. Yeah. I'm not going to mention any names, but what if you got an employee? Right. Who, like, he comes to work every day, but doesn't talk up a lot. Okay. <laughs> and like when you're in a writing meeting or something. And he's a writer. He keeps all his, he's a writer, though. He's a writer on the show. He won't give over any ideas. What do you do? What do you say to him? How do you motivate him? Um, like, what do you say to a guy like that? Uh, do you fire him? Or do you just hang in there for endless years waiting for something to happen? So are these behavior techniques things to get people to do things they don't ordinarily right, motivational do? techniques. So how do I motivate for, uh, uh, this guy, <laughs> this guy, to do this kind of stuff? <laughs> Man, David, um, you better go back to school, yeah. dude. Man, I we didn't get... Early on. <laughs> early on, <laughs> man. Whoa. Well, look, this course did a lot of good for you. Yeah. All right, what else did you take? Uh, marketing. See, marketing, that's the thing. What is that? Marketing is like, if... Like a, if you're a media planner, it teaches you like where to spend the money, the budget. That's those uh, those studies, right? Studies, yeah, where marketing. Where you find out what the people want and then you right. give it to them. Right. It's not so you can buy vegetables. That's what Gilbert, <laughs> does. Gilbert does his own marketing. He doesn't live with his mom anymore. I didn't have to go to school. Uh, now that I'm not living with my mother, I have to do my own marketing. <laughs> All right. But I think he'd be well suited for some kind of media planning. You know, what is training. media planning? I don't even know what that is. That's where you you work at an agency, and you let's say you have a, an account like I was on the Standard Brands account, Planters yeah. Peanuts, Oil, Chips. So they have like a ten million dollar advertising budget. Let's say mm -hmm. so you take the ten million, you figure how much goes on radio, TV. Oh, that's it. Yeah, you figure it out, and then you make up a whole plan for how much to spend where. How much to spend where, and budgeting, and all that kind of junk. He'd be perfect for it. And then he could buy some time on our show, <laughs> which is ultimately my That's goal. That's right. We'll staff the whole advertising industry with your family. No, I told him he doesn't have to do that. But he'd be good at one of those agencies, right? Then you go to go to those sure. parties and you get laid a lot, too, because all the... Uh, somehow you get laid. Well, you stay in there around that bar at night after work. Right. And he's got the look, you know, he's got the short hair and all that. Yeah. Doesn't look like a bum. He'll like, fit into the, that little office yeah. situation. <laughs> look at Gilbert staring. <laughs> <laughs> Gilbert... I'm like, turned on. He's got muscles. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Yeah. Nice suit. Short hair. Yeah. Plus, I feel bad for him. He always had to live in that little apartment. <laughs> <laughs> a, you had to share a room with your brother, right? Yeah. About 15 years. 15 years of sharing a room. Where did his brother finally go? He bolted and went where? Now his brother. And he used to beat up his brother all the time because he couldn't stand him, right? Yeah. Right. Because w w would you be hostile to your brother if you had to live in a little if room you with were him? You beat everything, room. don't you? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. So where is his brother in school? Yeah, well, his brother's still in high school. I see. His brother goes to like the worst high school. What high school is that? Lincoln. Oh. <laughs> where is that again? Ah, uh, Brighton Beach. Yeah. yeah. Does he get beat up by black guys all day? Uh. Yeah, about once or twice a year. <laughs> <laughs> Just a, like an. I it on his calendar. Because I was telling him to take karate. But his well, father was encouraging him to do like boxing. His cousin is reliving your life. Yeah. He's got my name and he's getting beat up by black guys. <laughs> but I would have been happy getting beat up once or twice a year. That's normal. Mine I was think daily. You exaggerate. Mine was a daily beating or choking. How come your clothes are never disheveled? Oh, I had my pants taken off of me <laughs> in a class. A black guy told me he wanted my pants. In the middle of a reading class, English. He took my pants. <laughs> Are you kidding me? How come my clothes were disheveled? Gilbert is laughing at My you clothes all. weren't disheveled because other guys were wearing them. <laughs> oh, man. Gilbert is laughing. <laughs> Gilbert. Who even seen me? I'm going to Gilbert. Just yesterday at the Emmys. <laughs> is that why you started working out and joined the football team so you wouldn't get your ass kicked? Uh, 
Nah, I just like playing football. Yeah, well, he's like a he could really kick some ass, my yeah. cousin. They didn't buy How much me. you weigh, man? Two thirty. What can you bench press? Uh, about three eighty. You can do more than that. Don't be don't be so uh, shy. I don't work out hard anymore, really. When you were working out hard, how much could you bench press? Uh, four fifteen. Wow. Wow, Gilbert. Gilbert that's <laughs> nine Gilberts. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? It's like real muscular. Yeah. Are you ever afraid you might just rip it off altogether with those muscles? <laughs> <laughs> Want to uh, check his pecs, Gilbert? Yes. Ooh. 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 Ooh you're so soft. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, I like Ooh. that. Oh. <laughs> Want to put Gilbert in the shower? Yeah. Ooh. 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 I, I feel so dirty. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Suddenly. <laughs> But what do you do? Like when you go to the beach and stuff, and you take your shirt off, Ooh. like girls immediately come on to you, right? Mm, not you, really. They don't dig that. They dig it, but um, you still got to work at it. Yeah. <laughs> they don't just flock to you. You got to flop. Got to flock. You said flock. <laughs> what? You said flock. He said flop to you. <laughs> oh, whatever. So uh, that's pretty cool. But I dig him. <laughs> he's family. He's your cousin. That's my cousin. My cousin David. At least his name isn't Howard. <laughs> what, do you present the other kid? No, he's a good kid, too. I like him. I like all my cousins. Do you ever do yeah. favors for your cousins, Gilbert? No, no. no. no? <laughs> so generous. Yeah. And then I was coaching my cousin how to get a job. Oh, yeah? Because he's kind of so late. What have you done for him besides get him a meeting with Ed Moore? Well, let me tell you. He's laid back, right? Well, yeah. I was I was just asking Ed which advertising agency people we could get him in touch with because he just wants to interview as a media planner. Oh, I see. So I said to Ed, you know, what are some of the people? And he goes, I'll take care of it. Let me, let me meet him, oh. and, which was very nice, which was see, very gracious. See, this is how you get yourself into trouble. What do you mean? Now I owe Ed a favor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's hope Ed gets too drunk to remember he did me a favor. <laughs> But, uh, and then, like, that I was... That means more client meetings for you. So I called my cousin. I was telling him how to behave with Ed. You know, I said, listen, I know you're laid back, man. Right? Didn't I give you a whole speech? Oh, yeah. I lecture him. I said, this is what you do. You go in and you say, first of all, you Uncle say... Uncle Howard? <laughs> cousin Howard. <laughs> I go in and I go, look, you go in there. Don't say, you know, I don't know what I want to do. I don't know what I want to do. I'm like, just go in and say, hey, I've got a management background. I'm anxious to go into... I've, Howard has told me all about media planning. I've been looking into it. It's and for God's sakes, don't shake hands with the boss. <laughs> and I'm perfect for this. I am the perfect guy for this. And so did you do this, David? Did you it? do it? Yeah. We, did you ball him over? Yeah, I met um, some lady, Peggy. Peggy Panache? Yeah. Hey, she's nice, huh? She's pretty nice. How'd you like to get that? Yeah, that'd be nice. Hey, yeah. damn right it would. She ain't gonna look at you till you get a job. <laughs> 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 muscles or no muscles. <laughs> oh, yeah, you met her? Yeah, she said she told me also. Really? Yep. All right. If you can't get a job out of this, there's something wrong with you. <laughs> you wash your hands. I just feel good. Yeah, because I feel good that he didn't waste his time in college. He got a management background. I mean, that's, that's you know, something worthwhile, not like communications. Something stupid. I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> <laughs> Marketing. That's good stuff to learn in college. That's jobs. And you retain so much of it, too. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, Gilbert, I was keeping my mouth yeah. <laughs> I didn't say he learned anything, but he prepared himself well. <laughs> but he was busy playing football anyway. He thought he was going to go pro. Didn't you think yeah. he was going to go pro? No. You were thinking it for a while. I came to one of his games. They got so they got their ass beat by Hofstra. What, <laughs> what school did he go to? I never to? saw Buffalo. I never saw anything so more embarrassing in my life. Hofstra. Your team didn't score one stupid touchdown. <laughs> yeah, we did. You guys get your ass kicked. It was like 50 to nothing. No. That was a I thought it was a basketball game I was watching with a score like that. <laughs> Yeshiva students used to beat you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Seriously, you guys really kind of sucked. We blew. Yeah. yeah we did. Yeah. This is when he started taking his education seriously. I yeah. Did. Yeah. Thank God you took those courses, too. Plus, he was always getting hurt. Weren't you always getting hurt? Hurting your neck and stuff? Nah. I hurt my ankle one year. All right. A football player. No, he slipped in the shower. <laughs> yeah, that's what it was. Shower injury. <laughs> Seriously, though, you could never even bring a girl back to your uh, apartment, you know, to your house or anything, because your brother was always there. That's true. You couldn't even have dirty magazines, because your brother would find them. Well, they probably shared well, those. You got around that. You did? Yeah. But you can even hide rubbers and stuff, you know what I mean? Brother all looking at him and stuff. <laughs> now, let's face it, part of the fun of growing up as a kid 
having your own room so you can play with yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Is that why every child should have? Well, my parents almost caught me a couple of times, <laughs> and I was in my own room. That's how tricky it is when you got a brother. But I used to go in the bathroom, too. You don't figure that the other brother's doing it, too? Oh, he's doing it, but that's just the point. You don't want to be in the same room where your brother's doing it. <laughs> you know what I mean? You want a little separation. Be like open warfare. Yeah. Well, anyway. So, Gilbert, now yes. that you've committed uh, career suicide. Yes. <laughs> well, I'll be doing the Academy Awards next year. You'd be a good media planner, Gilbert. <laughs> oh, I think they're going to let you host the yeah. show next year. Yeah. Just, just go on an ad lib, Gilbert. I thought Jamie Lee Curtis looked good. Yeah. I thought Jerry Seinfeld was funny. I thought Dennis Miller was kind of looked like he was reading off cue cards. He seemed very uncomfortable. Uncomfortable, nervous, not funny, which yeah. is unusual for him. I didn't think he did a good job at all. But, um... And, and Kirstie Alley was allowed to get away with the big one jokes. She's the comedy... You know, this is like this comedy elite... Kirstie Alley and well, all the little comedy friends. Well, that whole Cheers group. Yeah, that whole Cheers group. Like, they, they know everything is funny. Meanwhile, they've never, they've never even done anything funny except yeah. read off a script. But Kirstie Alley's up there like the queen of comedy. But every year they do something. Like one year, every time one of them won, they all kissed them before they came to the stage. So women were kissing women and men were kissing women. Yeah, who wants to see oh, that? Oh, talk slowly. <laughs> but she's like a comedy royalty, that Kirstie Alley. But you know? she's the new Lucy. Yeah. And it's like, hey, wait a second. She's not funny. Guys write down stuff and she says it. What is and that? I couldn't... Have, what was the... What is that? Why are people... What are calling people, this woman funny. People write for Kirstie Alley, and then she says it on the air. <laughs> well, I heard Carl Reiner once say that the reason she's so good is that when he was directing that movie, uh, Sibling Rivalry... She was busy arguing with her husband on the phone the whole time. <laughs> yeah. She was supposed to knock... She the, made it to the set on time. She yeah. at one point knocked the glass over right. in a take. It wasn't written. She just decided to knock the glass over. Right. And it was so good, and it, but it wasn't a good shot. So they asked her to do it again. She did it perfectly. God, is she good. Oh, God. When it, when it comes to knocking a glass over, you know, no that's one does the it great better. thing about a Kirstie Allen. She, she can, can really break think on her glass. feet. Please spare me. <laughs> and then she gets up and says, My husband gives me the big one. Her husband must have been thrilled. The guy hasn't worked in a while. And, uh, <laughs> that's what he's been busy doing. And he's giving her the big one. <laughs> well, he worked. He was on that lifeguard show. Baywatch, yes. Aren't they Baywatch. Still, they're still filming that for Europe, you know. It's really great when your wife is doing better than you. Oh, man, that's so humiliating. Oh, you said you'd love it. Oh, please. <laughs> no one would love that. So humiliating. Oh, stop. What's the big deal? He gives it a big O. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, all the time you got to read in the Inquirer how she's not even happy with you and stuff. <laughs> she wants a baby <laughs> and you can't deliver. Yeah, right. And it's like the one thing you're supposed to be doing, <laughs> you're not giving her the baby. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, it could be Kirstie's fault. Yeah. Maybe our eggs are all dried up. <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? <laughs> His eggs are like <laughs> a little dusty, <laughs> crystallized, <laughs> dusty petrified eggs. eggs. <laughs> yeah, it's great to get the big one and not have a kid from it. <laughs> like marbles in that uterus. Oh, oh. So, hey, you know. Hey, are those marbles in your uterus? Yeah. You're just glad to see me. Hey, what am I supposed to do? You've got marbles in your uterus. How am I supposed to uh, sperminate hey. those? You know when you're having sex with a girl and she has marbles in her uterus? <laughs> right. Doesn't that hurt your penis? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Very good, Jerry. It's good to have Jerry Seinfeld with us. How about when your penis knocks into one of those marbles? <laughs> Do you like cat's eyes or the regular what are you, ones? Are you going to work blue now all the time? Yeah. Is that yeah. It? <laughs> now that you've got a success with the Emmys? Uh, Gilbert now is going to work the word yeah. penis into every, every conversation. Yeah, Hi, penis. <laughs> yeah. penis. Hi, how do you do, penis? Right. The masturbation comedian. You know, Kay Gardella has a point. Yeah, my that wife is, is so tit. fat. Penis. <laughs> <laughs> Robin, let's wrap up with anything that. Uh, anything. Yeah. Okay. Well, I told you yesterday that Ike Turner has been released. Good idea. From prison in California. Tina Turner now is under a rock somewhere <laughs> hiding. <laughs> no, 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 no. I guess he's uh, saying this so that Tina knows there is no reason to hide. <laughs> right. He says that he'll he... get her in either case. <laughs> he says that he has kicked his cocaine head. And he'll kick her. Allegedly. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and, um... He said there was as much cocaine in jail as there is on the streets. Oh, you know, it. maybe maybe I can get a date over there. You know, they, they do have a lot of addicts in jail. Well, I know that he's... But he has learned to respect women. And... <laughs> yeah, in jail. Be being one for all those years. <laughs> and to control his temper. Well, as a matter of fact, he's been working on some new music, and I have yes. it right here. Okay, what, what have you got? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
A rat done bit my sister Nell. Daddy on the moon. Her face and arms began to swell, and Whitey's on the moon. I can't pay no doctor bills, but Whitey's on the moon. Ten years from now, I'll be paying still while Whitey's on the moon. That's right. No, obviously that's Gil Scott Heron. Okay. You want to hear his new music? Go ahead. All right, here we go. You got it on with Wilma Flintstar. <laughs> he made love to a bowling ball three times. All right, there it is. So anyway, we wish him the best, don't we? I thought we had a quote from him. No, we don't. Yes, I do. Where, where is it? Oh, here it is. Ike Turner, talking about Tina Turner and how he's going to stay away from her. Well, I began when I was there. That people say, oh, he's done it. You know, they gave you drugs. Well, I'll bet you lie on it. <laughs> okay. I bet you he had an active sex life in the shower. Right. <laughs> so, anyway. T Ike Turner's out and fighting for custody of David Berner's child. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I'd give it to him if he still, if he'd go back on drugs. <laughs> My only problem is that he, he quit drugs. <laughs> if he would get back on drugs, <laughs> I'd have a kid with him. Every other word out of David's mouth was drug. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just saying, oh, drunk. The oh, random yeah. drunk thing. Random drunk thing. <laughs> <laughs> I promise, I know what I want. Three things. <laughs> random drunk thing. <laughs> and, and, uh, nice. uh, drug thing. What you want, you know, something like you know. <laughs> <laughs> And you can't do what you're wonderful man. <laughs> and you did just so much oh. for other people in the business. Oh, my goodness. That he was a wonderful man, and now... Uh, and when drunk we do All right. What else, Robin? Let's see. Hugh Hefner's a new father again. Yeah, at 97. Yes. <laughs> Him and Ed McMahon are getting back together for a uh, parenting tip. <laughs> <laughs> the couple had another kid, another boy. Don't you hate when you fall asleep before your kid? Hey-oh! Yeah. Hey oh. <laughs> this one they're calling Cooper Bradford Hefner. Cooper Bradford? Yeah. God, if so only Gilbert have. had been named Cooper Bradford. <laughs> <laughs> Think the baby will look like the local gas station attendant? <laughs> How do they know that? You know, I do. Every time I read these stories, I say, you know that's not They look like Ike Turner. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Ike Turner says... <laughs> now, don't kiss. <laughs> right. Oh, dear. <laughs> so, anyway. No, but as you're saying, so Hef has a baby, and, uh, you know, he's got to wonder about that, being that old. I, mean, how do you, how do you, I guess him and his wife are faithful to one another, aren't they? Isn't he like the playboy kind of guy, though? Well, I guess he keeps her locked up in the mansion. You know, they don't I go see. anywhere. So well, maybe he knows her, uh, all of her activities, all of her movements, so he doesn't have to worry about it. You yeah. has a baby at sixty-five, and white is on the moon. <laughs> <laughs> yes, our friend John Hurt, hmm. the actor. Oh, him? He's no friend of mine. Uh -huh. I know him. A, you know, I, I interviewed him once. He was arrested, uh, <laughs> drunk driving. Yeah, he was drunk on our show. I know. I guess he's still doing it. That's too bad. You know, yeah. that's, uh... Well, well, if he drove into a if lamp. If he drinks, up. maybe I can, uh, have sex with him, even, because... Uh, <laughs> no, but if he drinks, uh, drugs can't be far behind. <laughs> <laughs> he drove into a lamppost on April 18th. Oh, my. So, uh, they caught him. That's the guy from Elephant Man, right? Yeah. And, uh, they said he lives... In this uh, county Kildare with his. I am not a drug! <laughs> I am a human being! Hey, at least he can't kill Dottie West now. <laughs> <laughs> with his car. He, he, lives he was on his way to give her a lift. That's American right. His wife, Joe, and their son, Alexander. So, wow. I hope he doesn't drive them. Anyway, he's okay. Just uh, has to pay a fine. Don't think that means any jail time. No, why should we jail they, a guy driving around drunk? They after did all. take his license away, Howard. Oh, oh why bother? Year. You know, we don't do enough with these uh, drunk drivers. Like the guy driving the train, drunk. I mean, that's a death sentence as far as I'm concerned. Drunk driving, man, I don't get that. I mean, I admit driving drunk is more fun than driving straight. <laughs> well, but driving can get boring. The guy who was driving the train is taking care of my kid right now. <laughs> oh, is that right? I'm sorry. Yeah, I've hired him as a babysitter. <laughs> oh. Hey, uh, Howard, in Florida, they have this nymphomaniac case. Do you have a name or a number? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What, what kind of case is that? Well, this woman... Guilty. Claims that she's a nymphomaniac and she has to have sex. All right. Four yeah. or five times a day. And why would there be a case against her? And her husband wasn't able to comply because he suffers from impotence. Perfect couple. Yeah. So she would have men in. Good marriage. Yeah. To help her out. With How many problem. men? Men. Four or five a day. Why four or five? She hasn't met Gilbert. Gilbert could go five times yeah. a day. Now, she called these things surrogate sex sessions and she charged 50 to 150 dollars. Oh. 
And her husband stood in the closet a lot of times. <laughs> <laughs> the husband's hiding in the closet. Taking me. There's names. a moron. But Whitey's on the moon. <laughs> well, Whitey's on the moon. <laughs> and then writing down little, you know, quotations and, and comments on their performance of the men. Who really? With his wife. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway... Uh, My cousin just left for Florida. That's why I haven't heard from him. <laughs> of course, she's being charged with prostitution. Yes. And, uh, you know, yes. everybody in Fort yes. Lauderdale, yes. Florida, is now shaking in their boots because they say that they are, they're going to release the client list, that, you know, group of names oh she has. Oh, isn't that terrible? And, oh, my. Uh, oh, my. Oh, I'd my like goodness. I'd like to see it published, oh, my, actually, my, with my. the comments and all that. I hope Cousin Brucey's on it. <laughs> <laughs> but I thought that was interesting. She's a nymphomaniac. Why do nymphomaniacs charge men for sex? Right. Are they truly nymphomaniacs, uh, Jerry Seinfeld? How do we know if they're really nymphomaniacs? All right. What kind of a dry cleaning bill do they have? <laughs> Exactly. The mother who killed or tried to have killed the woman whose uh, daughter was competing with her own daughter for a cheerleading spot. Why do mothers have their daughters killed? <laughs> not this daughter. is not normal. Other who are these mothers? <laughs> <laughs> well, that woman was found guilty of trying to arrange a hit on the mother of uh, another kid who was trying out... Maybe someone should squad. hit this woman <laughs> for <laughs> having her daughter murdered. Because <laughs> she didn't murder her daughter, Gilbert. Gilbert doesn't care. <laughs> He's on a roll. <laughs> Doesn't matter. He's trying to make people laugh. <laughs> so anyway, I just wanted people to know she got 15 years. You know, when it came time to, for her to be sentenced, she broke down, started crying, and begged for mercy, and said having the trial alone was enough punishment. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> and that's what the jury did. They laughed like Gilbert. <laughs> hey, you know, I am sick and tired of Gilbert Goffrey coming on here and showing off with all his stupid impressions. <laughs> yeah. It's time for me to yeah. do one. Now I'm doing one. Okay, go ahead. You dirty rat. This is, uh... <laughs> Ex-Senator Jacob Javits. Oh, dear. How you doing, everybody? <laughs> Gilbert's not the only one who can do it in fractions. Can you believe that rat bastard Geraldo made love to my wife? <laughs> See, Gilbert, two can play this game. The uh, suing her psychiatrist, claiming that the, the psychiatrist tried to help her commit suicide. I <laughs> figured it was the best thing for her. Yeah, but what's wrong with, with that? Her problem. So she uh, started helping her. Well, this woman honest. says <laughs> that her psychiatrist, it was a female psychiatrist, uh, lured her into lesbian sex Ooh. and tried to help her with her suicide attempt. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but I wish I was still a senator. <laughs> but Mr. Javits. Stop yes. It. <laughs> oh, hey, Mr. Javits. Where's that filthy Spanish dude, Geraldo? I hope my life gave him crabs. <laughs> so she's suing the ex-psychiatrist. I don't know exactly how much. I think, she, oh, she won $14 million for this. Wow. The psychiatrist says she was just walking her through it because she knew the woman wasn't serious about it. She was walking her along the ledge. <laughs> it was like shock therapy. In other words, say, hey, you want to commit suicide? This is what it involves. Okay, good defense. I'll yeah. go with that. So, uh, <laughs> there you have it. Fourteen million dollars. And, and the psychiatrist says there was no lesbian. Long as she doesn't have Rolf Felder. You know, because I'll tell you, he, he's just, the only reason that he's considered a good lawyer is because he wins cases. <laughs> that was good. I want a lawyer who loses for me. <laughs> so I could pay him a few million dollars and he'll lose the case for me. Yeah. Anyone could get a lawyer who wins. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a good lawyer to me. I want to win. And on Donahue today? <laughs> Not Latoya. Gilbert. I can't take any more of them. <laughs> Latoya Jackson. Oh, real? Oh, we got to watch Ooh, that, Gilbert. Yeah. Latoya. Yeah, Latoya. Latoya. <laughs> you know, with this tube in my throat, I can't masturbate. And the uh, taco breath media jerk is having it with my wife. And why he's on the moon. <laughs> do you know how I got throat cancer, Gilbert and Robin? How did you do that? If you I didn't do, have throat cancer. Uh, what did I have? I have a pipe in my throat. Why would I have a pipe in my throat? Why? You have a pipe in your throat because you have ALS. What? What? What do I have? What? What do I have? ALS. Lou Gehrig's disease. Lou Gehrig's disease. No one told me it was called ALS. <laughs> I knew I had Lou Gehrig's disease. <laughs> that pastor gave it to me at a baseball game. <laughs> <laughs> it was very contagious. <laughs> Lou Gehrig did not have sex with my wife, I don't know. Uh, no, I don't think so. <laughs> that would be very, very upsetting. <laughs> I would not like that. <laughs> but I was a good senator, wasn't I? 
Yes, you were a good senator. Many people like me. Very much. I think they should have let Gilbert Thomas stay in. <laughs> Bring the Emmys. Thank you, Senator. Gilbert now likes you, too. Yes, I'm a liberal senator from New York. I ran out of things to say. <laughs> I just thought you were taking a breath. Where are my writers? <laughs> so I get down the top of the floor. What was that? What? I didn't understand what you said, Senator. Well, you can't hear either, Senator. Oh, thanks. <laughs> All right. Uh... <laughs> you know, there was a traffic center named after me. Yeah, big convention center. Big convention, Javits Center. More people have been in the Javits Center than my wife. <laughs> <laughs> I resent Geraldo for making love to my wife. <laughs> and admitting wrong. to it, he shouldn't have written about it. Don't write about it if you want to do it. I've done it, I don't write about it. <laughs> it's no big deal when you did it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Who even knows if he really did it? Could be lying. Well, where is she? Why doesn't she come forward? Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's really easy. <laughs> why doesn't Mrs. Javits come forward and admit to having sex with Geraldo? And Whitey is on the moon. Do you know that Geraldo had sex with Ted Kennedy's son's missing leg? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you say that? Did you say that, Robin? No. Oh. <laughs> Well, anyway, I must tell you that uh, I will be watching Latoya Jackson this afternoon with that stupid snake of hers. The stupid drug snake. And the hat. She was wearing a cowboy hey, hat yesterday. I don't that, know if she'll be... Is that snake be... single? <laughs> 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 if the snake is on drugs, maybe that python could take care of my kids. You know, they drug that snake. It's not even, they, they said that she rents the snake. It's not a, her snake, yeah. And she wears a stupid sailor hat. Either, either the captain's hat or a cowboy hat. She had right. a cowboy hat on yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. I saw her interviewed by Joan. <laughs> she didn't say a word. Really? She kept telling Joan, read the book. Oh, read great, the book. great. Are you married? Read the book. Do a lot of things, Joan Rivers. <laughs> he never mentioned Joan. She died the snake, I don't know. <laughs> We're going to get Geraldo on here to talk about banging all those women. Well, since he should be doing a book tour and giving right. interviews, why doesn't he do this show? He should be doing this show. Well, look at Gilbert. He's so proud of himself. <laughs> he was such a bad boy on the Emmys. You're proud of yourself, aren't you, about yeah. that? I'm, on, I'm the bad, yeah, yeah. Did you're the bad you ever boy consider the that it was a bad move? Uh, no, no. Because no, it really not. wasn't. It wasn't harmful material or anything. I got some big Jersey gigs coming up. I, <laughs> that's right. As a matter of fact, Gilbert. My career. <laughs> sorry, Gilbert. No, okay. Gilbert will be at uh, Giggles in Edison, New Jersey, September 13th, September 14th. It's Toppers in Brooklyn. David, you can go see him there. You live in Brooklyn. September 26th, the Treehouse in Westport, Connecticut. September 27th and 28th at the Treehouse in Danbury, Connecticut. And the 18th and 25th on Night Court. Oh, you taped it already? Yeah. What do you play, seriously? Uh, the DA. It's supposed really? to be that Dan Fielding's gone nuts, and I'm the new DA for those two shows. So if it works out well, maybe it'll become a regular part, and you can get off that USA. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> You're laughing a little too hard. Yeah, yes, Gilbert. Don't force yourself. It's yeah. <laughs> fun to laugh at your a own career. A little too hard. <laughs> How'd you get that? Did you have to audition or they just called you? Uh, yeah, they, they just called me and I guess it was up between me and... Uh, and who's that me. woman who does it? That's what I'd like to know. There's a what? Remember yeah. when I showed you that Burt Reynolds article? Oh, yeah. Rhonda Shear was claiming she had sex with Burt Reynolds. Remember Burt was over yeah. the table with his pants down Yeah. She supposedly does what Gilbert does, but I've never what, seen Nicord? her on there. No, no, no. <laughs> What does she do? You she does what Gilbert, what, masturbate in the shower? <laughs> <laughs> she supposedly does what Gilbert does. Oh. Well, that could be a lot Make of things. Oh, yeah, she supposedly does USA Network. <laughs> yes, supposedly. Yes, but she's on she? every Friday. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah. All right. I was like, that's Gilbert's gig. Yeah. Yeah, well. That's my gig. <laughs> she does a gig on Friday and Whitey's on the moon. <laughs> Want to get out of here? Yeah, why not? Okay, uh, give me your plugs there, Jackie. Well, I'm going to be at 
Ha-ha's by the sea. Jackie Penthouse joke page marbling this Sunday, September 8th at Poor Billy's Sports Cafe in Woodbridge, New Jersey. <laughs> oh, Gilbert. <laughs> One of us has to work there, either me or Jackie. <laughs> For jokes and information, dial 516-922-WINE. And next Tuesday, September 10th, it's shenanigans in Norwalk, Connecticut. Go try and stump the joke, man. Bro, <laughs> Gary, this Wednesday night at the Electric Lady in Belleville, New Jersey for the big bikini contest. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Oh, you see, can you see a breast on her boss? Hey, boss, you can see a body on that girl, boss. Pig Bomber tonight at Boppers on Atlantic Street in Stamford, oh, Connecticut. Oh. Tomorrow night at Rhodes on City Island in I the Bronx. I'd pop that bikini girl, boss. Don't miss Josie Sang appearing at the Rock and Roll Cafe on the corner of Bleecker and McDougal Street in Manhattan next Thursday night, September 12th. And make your next wedding or party an affair to remember. Hire a mobile DJ. Call Scott the Engineer's Rocket Entertainment at 718-BAG-5040. I'd like to bag her, boss. Andy's edi editing out of the California show all my references to 1-800-52-STERN. Is he? Yeah. No. Yeah. Why? I don't know. It's just being a dickhead. They'll offer a formal apology. Yeah. <clears throat> Well, at least uh, Gary and John will be able to tell us what it sounds like out there. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's what I'm afraid of. <laughs> All right. I'm always being punished for something. I'll tell you, your life is a trial. It always is. Other people plug away. Well, Whitey's like on the moon. Oh, boss. <laughs> well, Whitey's on the moon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Always good to see Gilbert. Oh, yeah. Cousin David. You like meet my family, right, Robin? Yeah. Absolutely. It's always good to see Gilbert and Cousin David. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and Cousin Fred and Cousin Jackie. Ah, this is Cousin Brucey. <laughs> Some people thought I was going to the Cousin Shtick when I said Cousin David, but he actually is my cousin. He's definitely a cousin. Yeah. It's not like that old Brucey thing. What about your Cousin Javits? <laughs> How do you like my uh, Senator Javits impression? I like that. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, thank you, Gilbert. How do you get your voice to go like that? <laughs> Years of training. Yeah. Want to hear my uh, George Washington Carver impression? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's tomorrow. All right. All right, Fred, why don't you play some of the Meg's commercials, and we'll see you tomorrow, because we got to play all of these celebrity interviews tomorrow. we got a bunch of things to get to. and uh... We still didn't get to the Ed McMahon article. Yeah, and we got to do that tomorrow because time's running out. But I, I purposely did not book any guests tomorrow so we can get to everything. Uh -huh. Okay, I'll be right over. <laughs> Great. <laughs> I'd um... have to say that in front of Gilbert. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and we'll be back tomorrow.